So it looks like we're trying to give this one a go. Like it says it's Michelin star. So it's been recommended here for eating. So, and the prices don't look too bad. Anne's just looking at it and they seem reasonable price. I was thinking Michelin star, oh my God, it must be expensive, but no. The fairly average prices for a restaurant like this. So this is the inside. It's got a few levels, you can sit upstairs. But right, you got the wine selection, got some nice sort of seating decorations. So we're gonna sit here and eat. <laughs> Have a look around. I like these stairs that go up, they're cool. Drink wise, you got some craft beers. I might try one of the craft beers actually. Maybe I'll go the brew dog. So we have some different, uh, here's our link. We have the link to this place. So you have some different types of drinks here as well, which is always nice. Oh, I think they're non-alcoholic, by the looks of it. Some smoothies. Yeah, some different types of mixtures of drinks. Of course, you got your beer list. And soft drinks, brandies. You even got a wine list. Here you go, here's your wine list if you like your wines. Unfortunately, I didn't film the uh, food menu, but look it up on their Facebook page, which I'll put the link in the description for you to check out their menu. So I ended up changing my order to one of the craft beers here. So I ended up getting this craft beer with Chiang Mai. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm gonna give this beer a try. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. <laughs> it's actually a really nice beer, this one. This beer here. It's yum. Delicious. Really smooth in its flavor, but super tasty. Yeah, you give it a try. You might like it. Try it. Yeah. Let's see what Anne's reaction is to this beer. Do you like it? Uh, no. Mm. She doesn't like it. I do. Oh, she, <laughs> she went the Coca-Cola. Mm. Very tasty. It must be um, Chiang Mai flavoured Coca-Cola. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely Chiang Mai flavoured Coca-Cola. <laughs> of course, quick photo time as always, but now we're getting into the food. So I just tried I just tried this pineapple fried rice and it's delicious. It's actually really, really nice. This craft beer, just love it. And this soft shell crab curry. Oh my God, it's yum, it's delicious. And I tried the soup on that. It's a bit spicy for me, but this mackerel tom yum soup is actually quite nice in flavor. Um, apart from the spiciness, it's really nice. So we're gonna enjoy our meal now in here in this beautiful, sort of designed restaurant. So the meals here were delicious. And Anne was talking about that the Tom Yum soup, it reminded her of uh, a style of Tom Yum that her grandma used to cook when she was actually a kid. Kid, So she was really impressed by the flavor of the Tom Yum soup that we actually had here. And as you can tell here, here's the rice, the crab curry, all of this was just really delicious food. The food overall here was a great, uh, was great. It was delicious. It was a great dining experience overall. But of course, it was a Michelin star restaurant, so you did expect a level of quality in the food that was being served, and it was quality. So here look like some of the sort of wine selection that you could actually select from. And over to the left of this is all your craft beers, which you could choose from. So there was a good selection of drinks overall. So this is another entrance to the restaurant we just ate in. And oh my God, the food was delicious in here. And you can tell here that um, you just walk down this area here and you come into here and you do have some upstairs seating as well. And there is a little bit of a takeaway cafe where you can just have a coffee and that if that's all you want, or cocktails, mocktails. But yeah, we enjoyed this meal and it's Michelin star. It looks like 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 22. That's probably why it cost us over 1,170 um, baht to actually eat here. But yeah, and we got some takeaway and food. <laughs> it's just yum. 
Overall, I would recommend giving this place a try if you're in Chiang Mai as a tourist or you just feel like a bit of a dining experience. Yeah.